Salutations cruisers, welcome and thank you for joining us on our daily cruise news updates. We have five stories ready for you all as a new debarkation procedure is tested as well as guests left behind as a cruise ship is overbooked. So without further ado let's get into these stories and more with news brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. In a sure sign that the cruise industry's post-pandemic rebound continues to expand and grow stronger, Holland America Line posted Black Friday booking volumes that are 20% higher than the 2022 holiday sale, which also was a record breaker. The sale began on November the 17th and continues to December the 1st, also saw record booking volumes for the four days span between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. The Black Friday promotion offers savings and perks on more than 800 cruises. The newest Norwegian cruise line ship, Norwegian Beaver, has been officially christened in a glittering ceremony with both modern and traditional elements in Miami on November the 28th. The traditional ceremony, which includes breaking the bottle of champagne over the ship's hull for blessing and good luck by the ship's godfather, Louis Fonzi, also included paying homage to the cruise line's history and dedicating a new installation at the Norwegian Cruise Line Terminal in Miami. She will be homeported from San Juan from mid-December through early April 2024. Norwegian Cruise Line has reached out to guests sailing on board the new Norwegian Viva as the balcony whirlpools in certain suites in the haven will no longer be continually available. Due to new sanitation protocols, the luxurious amenity must be individually prepared for use and will only be usable for approximately one hour. After each use, they must be promptly drained and re-sanitised. The need for it to be promptly drained makes these a much less attractive and much less useful feature. No notice has been given about whether or not public hot tubs aboard are impacted by the new sanitation protocols. Several guests hoping to set sail with Quantum of the Seas were not permitted aboard and instead were left behind when their ship set sail on November the 28th. The eight-night South Pacific cruise is a round-trip itinerary from Brisbane, calling on ports in New Caledonia and Vanuatu before returning to Brisbane on December the 6th. Unfortunately, several guests received unexpected letters alerting them of the unusual situation. There was no explanation as to why staterooms were unable to be allocated, but likely an overbooking situation. There is no indication that further sailings are expected to be impacted. In an effort to further smooth the debarkation process, Carnival Cruise Line is introducing a way for guests to use the Carnival Hub app to choose their debarkation time and receive notifications about when they can leave the ship. So rather than having thousands of guests head to guest services to choose luggage tags, passengers will now be able to select their time and the number of luggage tags they need in advance. The new process, Digital Debark, is currently being piloted aboard four ships. Carnival Spirit, Carnival Conquest, Carnival Dream and Carnival Elation. So that's it for me cruisers, my name is Paul and all the news you need is over on cruisehive.com. Now if anyone has any news you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Show your support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Have a good day cruisers and I'll see you in the next video.